Well, if you're confused about this weather that we're having, a lot of people are. How about the trees? The trees are confused. The flowers? The flowers are confused. <laughs> Let's go over to Lonnie Quinn with some explanation. Okay, we'll show you what's going on out there. A, a lot of this stuff, KJ, I'm at a loss for as well. I mean, the flowers are not only breaking through the ground at my house, they're in full bloom. Crocus is in full bloom. I had bees bopping around from one to the other today. Let me show you guys what I've got for you right now outside. Because the picture, it's been a gorgeous day. It's been a gorgeous April day in February, right? I mean, right now, you are 1117 at night, and the temperature comes in at 61. That is the normal temperature that you would get at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on April 14th. It's just in the middle of the night, two months ahead of schedule. Let's show you what the biggest temperature was that I found anywhere in our area. Newark, New Jersey hit the 70-degree mark on February 15th, kind of, I mean, just unheard of. Everybody very mild out there. We maxed it out in Central Park at 67 degrees, 25 degrees above average, and that's the typical temperature for the end of April, the very beginning of May. And like I said, here we are in the very middle of February. All right, tomorrow's high temperature, 63 degrees. Not as pretty a day. You're going to find, I think the morning's okay, but then clouds will fill in, and you've got some showers that will be kicking in as you get into the, I'll say the early afternoon. I'll show you how that's all going to work out. We look just fine out there tonight. Up then over we go, all the way down to Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas. All right, this front right here is going to be changing our weather. Now, there's some severe weather out there. This box that you see right here, it's a tornado watch box because you've got a huge clash in temperatures. This air mass right here, very cold. This air mass, excuse me, this one's very warm. This is very cold. That clash, a little twist in the upper atmosphere or the jet stream making a jet streak. I mean, sure, you've got to be on the, the lookout for a tornado in that area. That's not what we're calling for where we live. But we do think we're going to watch that rain come in, not in the morning hours, but this is the afternoon. This is 2.30. There could be some bouts of heavy rain out there. That's 2.30. You'll get some breaks as you get into the nighttime hours. This is what it looks like at 11 p.m., but the rain comes back, maybe even more vigorously at around 7.30, and you just see it a little bit more widespread making its way into the area, probably hitting our western fringes at... I'll say 6 a.m. Here we are, 7:30, moving over the city around 8, maybe 8:30, out to the island. And then by 1 p.m., you're still holding on to a few showers out there, but you're basically done with the precipitation. Last raindrops, I would say, fall between 1 or 2 o'clock. But look at this. You see those arrows? There's your southerly wind. That's the warmth. This is the cold. All right. That's going to really take over as you get into Friday night, going into Saturday morning. So let's talk about two things here: how much rain, how much cold. For rainfall, we're talking about anywhere from a quarter of an inch to to around, say, three quarters of an inch of rain. So we should be able to handle that. I'm not looking at widespread flooding out there, but the temperatures really bottom out. It's going to feel like 19 degrees early Saturday morning. It will feel like eight in Danbury, feeling like four for Monticello. When you look at the actual numbers, Saturday morning, it's 26 on the thermometer. We're only going to get up to 43 degrees Saturday afternoon. That's the cold day. By Sunday, you're 51. And on Tuesday, and Wednesday, there is a rain chance with temperatures in the mid and upper 40s and maybe some snowfalls north of New York City. Uh, I, we're going to keep an eye on that to see if it really materializes into something. But right now, indications are north of the city could see some snow, a story because it's been so warm. Sure. Wow. Thank you, Lonnie.